we are going to use the free photo editing software that you can use here online within your browser. This one is called PicMonkey. Now there are several others that I really like such as Pixlr, Be Funky, iPicky, Sumo Paint, and uh, Psycho Paint. But I find PicMonkey to be easy to use and navigate and uh, this one would be a really good one for the younger students to use, elementary students. So what we're going to do with PicMonkey is create a mini Polaroid photo. This would be a great, fun student project. Um, also a cute Mother's Day gift. So the first thing you need to do is go to www.picmonkey.com. And once you are here, we are going to click on Edit Your Photo. Okay, once you click on that, it's automatically going to take you to your uh, library, wherever it is that you have a picture that you want to use. Go ahead and look for that picture. And I am going to use this one. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do when you're here, you're already on the basic edits, which is to crop, rotate, you can change the exposure, color, you can sharpen it, or resize the image. Now, I want to crop it just a little bit, so I am going to just go ahead and click and drag. until you have it where you want it. And once you are done with an edit, always make sure that you click apply right here. If you forget to click apply, don't worry. A box will pop up warning you that uh, you didn't click this and it'll give you the option to do so. So again, go ahead and click apply when you're done with your edit. Okay, so that went ahead and cropped it. Next one that we are going to click on is the effects icon. So go ahead and click on that. There we go. And as you can see, there are a lot of different effects that you can choose from. I am just going to choose one just to show you an example. Okay, this is the dusk and just notice how it gave it like a little dimmer, a little bit of a dim look there. And if you want to increase that or decrease this little slider here, you're just going to click and drag. Okay, so again, just click and drag here on the slider. I don't want this, so I'm just going to cancel. If you want this effect, then go ahead and click apply. I'm just going to go through one more. Again, this is Boost. And this is a good example of brush size. What they mean by brush size is I can notice how my mouse, my pointer turns into a circle. Okay, if I increase that brush size, then that pointer that brush gets bigger. So it will, whatever it is that you're brushing on, you'll have a larger area. Okay. And let's just do a little example of what this would do. Let me increase it all the way. Okay, that's not what I want. So I am going to close and cancel. Okay, the next one is the touch-up icon. The touch-up icon allows you to get rid of blemishes. You can use airbrush, wrinkle remover, shine reducer, blush booster. You can even add a spray tan. 
So let's see if little Sadie here will look better with the spray tan. Okay, let's see how big that is. The intensity, no, I don't want it too dark. Okay, notice how she's just getting a nice little tan there. Get those ears. Okay, if I darken it, no. I'm going to go back to spray tan and again. I'm going to spray tan Miss Sadie. Oops. Okay, I do want that touch up, so I'm going to choose apply. Yes, turn on the free roll effects. The overlays are also known as embellishments and they're just little just little things you can add to your photo okay if you wanted to add this little heart here you can either increase or decrease the size by dragging, clicking and dragging here or and you can also change maybe the outline of that shape okay and if you right click over this you actually get have a few more options you can duplicate it you can straighten it bring forward to the front or to the back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just close all this. Again, I'm going to place that heart right here. I'm going to come down to the daisies. I'm just going to add a few more embellishments. Okay, so the next thing we're going to click on is frames. And we are going to select Polaroid frame. And notice how the image automatically is defaulted at a rotate, rotated angle. So this slider here, you can just click and drag it to straighten that out. Okay, click apply. Again, if you need to fix those embellishments that you just added, you can do that. The last thing I would add would be the text. So again, you have a lot of different fonts to choose from. I will select one and up here is where you're going to add your text. Click add. Okay, now here's the text. Again, you have the option here just to click and drag to make that text larger or you can do the same thing, increase that size from the slider here. Okay, I am going to drag this down and change the color. So just by clicking on the colors up here in this box, it will automatically change the color of your text. I want that bold. Okay, so once you're finished editing that Polaroid, 
then what you are going to do, okay, if you look down here towards the bottom, you have a save button. Go ahead and click that. Again, if you haven't already, you can name that file and then click Save Photo. Okay, and navigate to your pictures library. Go ahead and save. I'm going to go ahead and change that to uh, okay, and then click Save little monkey pops up saying your image has been saved. So now I'm going to minimize this. Okay, so now I am going to go to my pictures library and look for that photo. Okay, I am going to right click, print, Okay, and it's black and white here because I'm printing to a black and white printer. If you're printing to a colored printer, then make sure that you are on that colored printer. Okay, now since we're creating many Polaroid magnets, we will need to either print and wallet or contact sheet size. Either one of these will be fine. So I'm just going to choose wallet. You need to make sure that fit picture to frame is unchecked and then click print. So once you print that out, what you're going to have is something like this, and you can make that photo a little bit smaller. Now if you don't have time to laminate, again, you can just have the students cover that photo with clear packing tape just to give it that glossy photo-like finish. Okay, now you can actually just go ahead and glue this, or not glue it, but I, well you can if you have magnets that don't come with the adhesive. You can actually just go ahead and connect it like this and this is what that would look like if you do not use that hard poster board. If you do decide to use this hard poster board what you're going to do is go ahead and glue Get those edges and I'm just using tacky glue but you can use any mounting glue I would actually lay them flat and let them dry and then they can add their magnet to the back. Okay, so once it is dried, you have this little miniature Polaroid.